and welcome. With API Matic, you can generate documentation portals through a docs as code workflow, and I'll demonstrate the complete portal generation process in this video. Docs' code approach improves your API documentation process and makes it more efficient. For example, you can manage your complete API documentation process in a Git repo for easier collaboration. And you can also automate your portal generations for faster releases by using tools like GitHub Actions. The portal generation process is very straightforward. You first create an input file that has your API specifications and your portal configurations. You then pass this input file to our API, which processes it to generate a documentation portal. Once the processing is done, this API will return your documentation portal in response. So let's follow these steps and generate our portal. Let's start by creating an input file. At the minimum, your input file should have a build file and your API specification. You can also pass in custom content like markdown files and static content like images and logos, but they're optional, so we won't do that here. The directory structure of your input file should look something like this. So let's go ahead and first create our build file. Build file contains all of our portal configuration settings. We have sample build file configurations that you can use. So let's go ahead and copy the minimal build configuration and paste it into our build file. There are a lot of build configuration settings that you can use to customize your portal and they're all available in this build file reference document. So make sure that you check those out as well. For example, this is a optional step, but if I wanted to add in Java documentation for my portal as well, I would copy this snippet and paste it here. So now my portal is going to have Java documentation as well. So now I need to pass in my spec file. For that, I need to create a spec folder and then provide my API there. So let's go ahead and create a folder called spec. And let's paste our spec file in the spec folder. Now what I need to do is I need to zip them together in an archive. And my input file is now ready. Now let's pass this input file to the build API and generate a portal. So go back to your documentation portal and scroll down to docs portal management. The endpoint that we'll use is generate on-prem portal via build endpoint. So this portal uses authentication and you need an API key to run this. So go into the authentication and you'll find the steps that you need to generate the key. So the steps are you log into your API Matic dashboard, click on settings, go into API authentication and then add your key. So this endpoint takes in two parameters. The first one is our input file and the second one is the API key. So let's go ahead and first plug in the API key here. And then let's go ahead and provide in our input file. And now just click on try it out. So in a few seconds, you're going to have your portal displayed. Make sure to download this and you can then deploy it wherever you want. Now that we've downloaded our portal, we can deploy it wherever we like. For testing purposes, I'm going to host this locally and show you what the portal looks like. So let's look at the contents of the portal. So this portal has all the artifacts needed for it to run on its own. For example, within the SDKs folder, we even have our Java SDK. So I'm going to go ahead and run this locally. So I've hosted this on 7800. And this is the portal that we just generated. As you can see, we have our Java documentation here as well because we added the Java snippet in the configurations. Now this is a very simple portal and you can customize this by changing the build file. If you need any help with working with your build file, please feel free to reach out to us through the help button and we'll be happy to help.
Thank you and have a great day.